Yo, what's good guys, producer Micah here and today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my videos and how I post content on Instagram or TikTok. There are various ways you can sell your beats or market yourself as a music producer and one way is by creating content. I've gotten a lot of comment asking me how I create my content. So I'm going to show you guys how I shoot my content and also how I edit it. And I'm going to be using DaVinci and DaVinci is a free software so you could just go to their site and download it. So without wasting time guys, let's go. All right, my people, welcome to this new video, something different. Like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my videos. It all starts from the recording process, guys. So make sure you're capturing some nice videos and trust me, you could use your iPhone. You don't have to use like, you know, a standard camera before you can get high quality with your iPhone or whichever phone you're using. No, not whichever phone. <laughs> you have to be using a good phone and I'll advise you to get like a nice Samsung phone or, you know, the iPhone iPhone you know to to get started so i, I edit using um a software called davinci resolve and it's a free plugin you know there's a paid version and there's also the free version i'm gonna be leaving a link um to that software in the description of this video so you could go download it so you know i'm gonna show you guys how i create my video all right so i have davinci open here i'm just gonna click on create a new project so you know that's opened up this new interface this is the interface um, we're gonna be using so i'm just gonna drag in the clips i'm gonna show you the clips and i'm gonna show you how i recorded those clips so you could also you know adopt um that in your own recording recording process guys so i'm just gonna quickly just drag in the clips so i have about nine clips i'm just gonna drag it and you you see the section here that's where you're gonna drop all the clips and it's gonna say change project frame rate so i'm just gonna say yes it should change the project frame rate so for me i'm just gonna be using the edit i love using the edit most times or you have to use the edit you can use any of the page <laughs> i'm not a pro in da vinci actually i'm also just you know learning as i'm going so what i'm going to quickly do is i'm just going to drag all my clips and i'm going to show you guys this first clip let me just mute it because you know it's just a lot of noise going on there so i have this first clip which is just me i'm just play it you know which is just me vibing to the beat trying to play some keys and so what i do is that i play the beat and i play the beat from the beginning to the end so what i do from the beginning is that i try to pick an instrument so so for example i'm playing a keyboard so i'm gonna play a keyboard from the beginning of the beat till the end of the beat so it's not like i'm just gonna record a small section of me playing the keyboard no i'll record it from the beginning of the beat to the end of the beat so for every clip i'm recording i'm recording from the starting of the beat till the end of the beat so that when it comes to synchronizing it in my daw it's gonna be easy it's gonna be very very easy but once you just record a short part maybe you record where you play the keys you just stop you record where you play the kick it's gonna be very very complex when it comes to editing your clips so one thing you should take out is that you can pick an instrument and record it from the beginning of the beat to the end of the beat and you're gonna thank me later so but if you if you look we're having this dimension of this youtube format dimension but we know we're going for like the reels the um tiktok kind of vibes so we're just gonna i'm just gonna come over to file project settings and i'm gonna come in and just you know use vertical resolution and save so you know we have this nice vertical resolution we could use for our instagram for youtube and and the likes so yeah this is just the first clip of me vibing so you could just place your camera record you know you vibing from the so you can see what i'm saying from the top till the beat plays all through i'm just kind of kind of vibing then i'm just gonna drag all the other clips you know all the various clips i have and just place them right on top each clip just place it all out so you can see that for each clips they are like the same almost the same length that's because you know it's the same beat i played from the beginning till the end so just drag this and this recording there are lots of noise in it so i will not be able to play it but i'm just gonna show. if you know there are no noise it's actually very easy to when it comes to synchronizing the audio but right now you know there are a lot of noise so if i try synchronizing it that's selecting everything control a right click and um auto align based on waveform you know it's gonna give me an error you know because there are lots of noise in the clip but if you record it in a clean environment without any noise it's gonna easily just synchronize the whole sound together so in this case now if i play everything you're gonna see that it's, it's just gonna be a lot of noise so you can see lots of noise when the background so that's why it can't actually just synchronize everything together all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna look for an anchor point which i'm gonna use to anchor this whole bit so if you look at this waveform there's this point and which you can see it is it's in every of the bit of the wave file you can see it here so i'm just gonna use that as my anchor point so i'm gonna drag all the bit and make sure it's 
aligns with that. So I'm just gonna, you know, cut this out, try to drag it so it aligns. Yeah, something like this. Let me just turn this off so I can, you know, shift it a little bit. Yeah, that's aligned. I'm gonna go over to the next clip and try to do like the same thing. Trust me guys, you have to make sure that your clips are aligned because if you don't make them aligned, it's gonna be funny. You know, it's gonna be funny when you are trying to play like the kick and the drums and it's not aligning. It's just gonna look so funny and unprofessional. So spend time just trying to make sure that your, all your sounds are aligning. So at this point, you know, I have all the, all these sounds aligning. So I have all the sounds aligned. So I can now bring in the original clean sound, which I exported from FL. So I'm just gonna drag that in. Let me just go over to my desktop and just, you know, drag that sound, you know, drag it in. So also, I'm just going to open this up over here and look for that anchor point, that anchor sound, which is this, this is it. So I'm just going to drag it and make sure it aligns. It aligns also. Yeah, so it's going to be close to... Yeah, so I think we have something that is aligned. So I'm just going to arrange all the clips and make sure they are starting together with the beat so it hits it hits at the same time. Yeah, so I have every, all the clips starting the same time with the beat. So I can just select all my clips, link them together, unlink them so I could delete these audios because most times they are always linked together with the beat. So I have this now. <music> Yeah, so you can see that it's aligned now. The video is aligned. Yeah, so, you know, I have my video, my audio, and my video now in sync. So I can now show you guys what I actually did when I was shooting the video. All right, so this is a, this is a, closer, this is a close shot of, you know, my hands. So this clip is the close up of my hands. So I just brought the camera closer to my hands and just recorded as I was playing. Then this is another clip of a further clip. This was far away from me, you know, just vibing. And let's have that. So that's the second clip. You have the third clip, a closer shot. You know, I brought the closer, the camera closer to me. And I have another clip of a close shot of my hands, you know, and the drum pad. Then I have another clip. It's a closer shot of my hands. Then I have this. that shot yeah so we have all these clips nice clips so you can record as many clips as you want so after i've selected all my clips like this you know the next thing is to cut the clips so i have to mix them up together so what i i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna put my marker at the starting point and just play the beat and after every four count i put in a marker so to put in a marker the shortcut is m so i'm just gonna play the beat count one two three four and hit m to create a marker or a, to create like a a mark so i'm gonna hit play two three four one two three four one two three four yep so i have the whole clip you know i've created the marker and like i said the shortcut for the marker is is m so most times i count up to eight to add the marker so it just depends on how many clips you're having so i just put the marker at you know at this four count so i put the marker at that four count because i want whenever the the kick comes in you know a different scene is coming so whenever the kick hits you know a different scene is coming after every four like after every bar a new scene is coming in so i'm not i'm just gonna put my marker here and cut all this clip and the shortcut i'm gonna be using is ctrl b so i'm gonna put my marker over and hit ctrl b put my marker over ctrl b ctrl b ctrl b yep so i've chopped up all the clip and that's chopped up my so I'm just going to remove this and just extend my, my beat. All right. So I have um, this. So I'm just going to select. So now it's just based on what you like or the scenes that you prefer. You know. So for me, I want to start with a scene of me just playing the or a further shot, a clip of me. So something like this. Yeah. Then, you know, I want it. I want the next shot to be, a you know, the camera coming closer to me. So then we have this one. Then I want a clip of, you know, my, my hands playing the, you know, playing the, the keys. So, yes, so it's just based on how you want to arrange it. So quickly, I'm just going to just randomly pick any clip. 
Yeah, so I, at this point, I'm just picking, you know, random clips. So I, I have everything from the top to finish. So I'm just going to play you the beat now. So you hear, you see how the scenes, all the scenes, you know, play out. Yeah, so that's just that's just it. So it depends on what you, you have selected. So those are the scenes that I've selected. So I'm just gonna, you know, group everything together. So all I just need to do now is just to add some effect. And I just love having my videos to have like this movie kind of feel. So that I just go over to my effects and just add an adjustment layer. And what I do with this adjustment layer is just to add some nice color. Trust me, guys, I'm not a colorist, I'm a music producer. So this is just what i just like doing so you know some things i do might not be right so i just go load up my load up this film look so it gives me you know it gives me this nice 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 colors i'm just gonna turn down the so you know i have these nice colors and so without it it looks this way so this just gives it some nice teal and orange look yeah, but then the next thing I do is um, bring in the wave that goes along with the beat. And I'm going to have a second part of this video, depending on how you guys like this particular video. I'm going to come up with the next video where I show you guys how you can create um, this wave that goes along with your beat. So that's created in After Effects. So I create it in After Effects and then drag, drag it um, into DaVinci. So let's just remove that. So, you know, this is the wave that goes along with the beat. So I have this, you know, one, I have two of them. So this is a lighter shade. So this just goes underneath it. So we have something like this. so guys i hope you got something from this you know it's it's not if it's not like um, our normal kind of vibe this in um new kind of video and just want to show you guys my process aside just making beats because if you make beats you still have to you know create visuals you still have to know how to market your beat you need to know how to you know sell yourself as a music producer and one way is by creating content you know there are various people creating content out there but this is just the way i approach creating my own content and you might like it if you do let me know in the comment section if you like um videos like this and you want me to share more processes like this let me know in the comment section and i hope you got something from this da vinci is actually free so you just go download it explore in your free time just play around with it and trust me you are gonna love it i hope you guys got something from this let me know what you guys think thank you for watching and you know peace